It's been an exciting last week for me. I had a chance to go to LA. I was down at the Grove Shopping Center, had lunch with a friend, and, and then drove over to Abbott Kinney and walked the streets. And I realized retail's coming back. You know, customers are getting out, people are shopping, you know, and when I talk to other retailers or people at the Grove, you know, conversion's way up. So it's an exciting time for stores. People are coming back, sales are better. As a retailer, you always love it when the volumes are good. And so that's exciting. But then yesterday was the highlight because I had an Enjoy Expert stop by to get me my new Apple Watch. And uh, what was interesting is Alex, who's an expert, called me in advance, as we do, and said, Ron, hey, I look forward to spending time with you. I'm bringing the whole store. By the way, I'm vaccinated. And I said, well, so am I. And he said, well, then I can come indoors if you like and just give you a great experience. And I got to shop in my home. But the big message when I was going to bed later, I realized we're getting back to normal. You know, I can go to the mall. I can have lunch outside. I can go to a sporting event. I can have an enjoy visit in the comfort of my home, a shopping experience in the comfort of my home. So we're clearly moving to the next phase of this pandemic. And that, as a leader, is creating a lot of questions for me. How do I guide my team? How do we return the work? You know, because we're in a world now where, you know, about half the people are vaccinated and half aren't. And I've learned to have great respect for people's individual decisions. You know, that's the big lesson. You know, today's the week of the anniversary of George Floyd. The last year for me as a leader has been a lot about justice. It's really trying to understand, to look at the world for other, through other people's eyes. And we've worked really hard at that in Joy. And we've made a lot of changes to create a more just workforce. Justice has actually become one of our core values. You know, being concerned about the outcome of the work we do, not the inputs, the outputs. And when it comes to work, you know, remote work has worked for us really well at Enjoy. I think it's worked really well for most companies. And so as we think about going back, uh, the mindset we have is the office today is a resource to do our best work. We view the office kind of like a computer, kind of like a meeting, kind of like Slack. It's a tool to do great work. So we view the office as a resource. We're not gonna go back to the ritual of we need to go to the office to do work. And what we're spending time is just trying to identify what were the challenges of remote work, which everyone talks about. It's building a culture. It's onboarding new people. And we're trying to solve that. But we're gonna to continue to be a remote first company. And we're doing that because it's great for people. It's great for cities. It's great for the environment. You know, it's been great for a lot of our teams. So I don't want to give that up, but we want to solve this return to work thing. And so in a couple of weeks, I'm going to tell you how we're going to do that, but we've got a lot of really, really good ideas. So today's thought is we're coming out. We're coming out of the pandemic. Don't let your guard down. Respect everyone's personal decision. Even if you're vaccinated, wear a mask in the right circumstances. Do that out of respect for others. And as we all think about getting to work, let's take the lessons from the pandemic and try to apply those. Now for all of us leaders, you know, give some freedom back to people. Let them spend more time with their family. Let them pursue their lives. Let them work remotely when you can. Uh, and then try to figure out how do you create a better place to work in a remote first world. That's what's on my mind today. And I look forward to seeing you next time.